Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poiki here, getting ready to take out the USSR 6.7 T44 in ground realistic. Uh, we ended up spinning a couple boosters, so thought we'd use them up. Let's talk about the T44. So looking at the armor front is 90 for the hull, 120 for the turret. Goes down on the sides to 75 and 90. So definitely want to be facing forward uh, when you're in battle. You don't want to give them side shots on. You've got less armor and uh, some flat surfaces every now and again your tracks will lead a shot for you but you can't count on it from the front not only is the armor pretty decent on the hull but it's got a great slope on it other than uh down here it's still a good slope so that's about it on the armor side on the gun side usually what i take a look at is just 30 degree angle 500 meters that's essentially most of what you're going to be running into while you're out there you never not that you never will but it's it's pretty unlikely you're going to hit a perfect zero angle shot so that column doesn't matter and 500 meters is about average targeting distance so 119 millimeters of pen which means we could pen ourselves with this you know on a flat surface we didn't hit a slope so gun's pretty good on it definitely don't want to get shot uh very low profile so it's a short tank which you can use to your advantage and uh good old ussr gun depression of only minus five degrees so well, i guess five degrees of gun depression not minus but uh anyway so you can't really fight the hills very well but let's take it out and see what we can do all right, so the map is Flanders, just the one capture point here on the left for A. I usually go the other way, so this will be interesting. Um, we are fully down tiered, which doesn't happen often, so kind of take advantage of it when we get it. I think we're just going to go straight towards A, maybe a little bit to the left. Again, we're not very good on the hills, even the slow and small rolling hills, so... I don't mind going over the hills at the start of the game. No one should be able to hit us. But after that, we'll try and stay in the low ground. So yeah, full down tier. Love that. See, we're up against Merca, Italy, and Israel. Ah. So 6-7 for America usually gets some pretty good heavies in there. I don't remember what... Italy and Israel have, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. As discussed, we're going to try and stay in the low ground. Wait till we find a target. Maybe he shoots at one of our guys. We can pop up and take a shot at him. Should be getting close to the halfway point, seeing some guys soon. Got a guy on our left, that's good. He can watch that flank. We're going to head towards the town here just so we don't go up on that hill and make ourselves an easy target. Don't see anything just yet. The majority of them should be to our right. Scouted. Appreciate that, teammate. Let's see if we can cut in underneath them here. Don't have a shot at that guy from this angle. Oh, he did. Got blew up. Let's do this. So we're not really behind them, but we're in front of them where they don't expect us at this point, and that could be pretty good. We're showing way too much of ourselves to somebody coming from the direction behind us. So we're gonna stop doing that. Opponents are on alpha. Let's see if we can sniff them out. Don't see them. Shots from that direction. Our spawn is down to the right. Still don't see the guy on Alpha. He's 
He's definitely there somewhere, so he's hiding low. That's smart. Here's something in this direction. Should go ahead and get in a position to wait on it. Alright, let's see if we can take their flank. See that guy there? Love his side, her shot in the side of a Sherman. Good. See a couple of them front right. We are exposing ourselves to shots from the left, which isn't smart. Oh, we never said we we're smart. Alright, I see some movement. There he is. We can hit him again before he gets a gun on us. There we go. Two down. Let's keep moving. See a guy in front. Love side shots and Shermans. Saw something move behind him. Alright, we're going to have to get down now. We shot a few of them. They're going to know where we are. I mean, if you want to expose yourself, nice, buddy. All right, let's wrap back up towards Alpha. See if we can outrun the guys respawning. And get in that cap. There's something front left. He's in front. Should be around there. See what we can do about him. Don't like giving him our side. There he is. All right, got the turret. Another guy down lower. Let's go for the hole. Holes down. Good. I was gonna say there's definitely another guy low. I think he saw us and took a shot and did not do well with it. Come on, gun. There we go. Get our fire out. Oh, really? Nice job. Alright, let's go LA-9. Well, let's check real quick. I'm not spectator. So we only have one plane up, and it's not a fighter, so we'll go be the fighter for our team. All right, so sit rep is Ron Flanders. We got four kills in our first tank up against America, Italy, and Israel. A lot of players left on both sides. Don't see any planes up for our opponents yet. There's one, actually. Let's go talk to him. Uh, we've got great rounds, 23 millimeter armor piercing, but not a lot of them, so we need to kind of watch our shooting. Looks like P-47. Missed our shots. Let's wrap back around. He's missing half a wing. Definitely have an energy advantage. Let's have to shoot down here. Maybe get a little assist to help out. P-47M's down. Again, still don't see any other uh, planes up. Keep an eye out while we look for ground targets. Really? Just making shit up, buddy. Oh no, there is one. Right there. Combat flaps. Let's get around on them. Try to help our tiger out. Should be able to pen this guy. Yep, he's down. Good. So got that guy out of here. 
All right, I see some AA shots coming from somewhere around there and a plane up. We're gonna focus on the plane first. Just let him pass under us. And try to go give him an ass full of lead. This plane's very good, it's fast, but it uh, doesn't turn real fast, so. Let's go ahead and do full flaps, just get that nose around. I say it doesn't turn real fast, basically the elevator's not real strong on it, is what I mean by that. There we go, he's down. Alright, flaps are raised. Let's go look for that AA that was in that area. Our team's looking good. Alright, I see a guy firing right down there. He just got smacked. I'm gonna cool the engine off a little bit. There's one. He's open top. Looks like a Wurbly or something. Go ahead and uh, full flaps, get our nose down. Help that elevator out. Good hits. Which one is he? There he is. Full flaps again. Now he's going to be shooting back at us here pretty soon, so make it too easy for him. Oh, we're out of ammo. That's not perfect. Let's go ahead and RTB, try and get some more ammo. So, decent little run in it. I think we got, what, one ground, one air. Not bad. Probably an assist on that first P-47. So, I'll check back with you guys uh, once we're back to battle. All right, so we've taken off. There's only three guys left on the opponent's team, and time is running out on the ticker. So it'll probably be over before we get back to battle, but fun little game. Help us spade out that T-44 as well, and the LA-9. Well done, ladies. Alright, so we ended up with one air kill and one ground kill in the LA-9. We ended up with four ground kills in the T-44. Made another step closer to our destroy five units wager, which when you do it in RP, you only need three kills because it's times two. So pretty easy to get uh, an extra hundred grand, you know, every few games, maybe every three or four. Um, let's see, got a reward, whatever that is. Great. And we ended up with second place on the team. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.